Well, I want to look at pace 1094 in math and I'm trying my new equipment, my new camera, and I have a new microphone that's uh, hooked up to the camera. And so hopefully you can see this video well and hear my voice okay. Uh, give me some feedback. Let me know if the uh, video is working all right. This is for math pace 1094. And uh, we've only got three more paces, 94, 95, 96, and you're done with this level. So uh, be excited, okay? I want you to um, open up to the page five. I'm gonna kind of give you an overview of this pace. And on page five, there's a chart that shows the metric system. And I know that some of you students who watch this video are actually in other countries than the United States, and so you're very familiar with the metric system. Here in the United States, we use the English, or the standard system, we call it, and um, so the metric is not as familiar to us. However, it's a very easy system to use and it's used a lot in science as well as the whole rest of the world, except for the United States and Canada, and uh, maybe even over in Great Britain in that area. Um, <clears throat> but let's look at, um, I call this the downright easy method, and we could put something here like meters or liters. Liters are what we use for measuring uh, volume. Meters is length, okay? And um, if we had 10 meters, that would be a decameter. 100 meters is a hectometer. And then the one that you've probably heard the most is like a kilometer or a kilometer. A kilometer would be a thousand meters. Now, if we take one meter and we divide it into 10 equal parts, so that would be about yay long, that would be a decimeter, okay? And then each decimeter can be divided 10 times into centimeters. And those of us who are here like in the US and are familiar with looking at a ruler, a lot of times on one side it'll have the inches, one through 12. And then on the bottom there might be the metric. And for every about two and a half centimeters is equal to an inch. But um, 100 centimeters, so these are smaller, the centimeters are smaller, and that equals one meter. And then millimeters, okay, a thousand milli. So milli is a prefix that means a thousand. So let me just show you real quick here. Let's say I had something that was um, three kilometers, and, I, and I'm asked to find out how many centimeters is that, okay? I would start here with the three, and I would notice that I have to step how many times to get to centimeters? One, two, three, four, five times. So I would start with the three and move the decimal one, two, three, four, five times, all right? And uh, then put my comma in, I have 300,000 centimeters would be equal to three kilometers. So to move to, you just move the decimal to the right, okay? If we were going this way, I would move the decimal to the left and just count how many stair steps do I have to go to get to that uh, unit, all right? But anyways, maybe that helps you, maybe it doesn't. Um, I like to use it. But I want to point out that the chart here on page five is very important to master, and you need to know what these prefixes mean, okay? And uh, you'll see those, I promise you. I have a copy of the PACE test, and I know that you need to know those for the PACE test. So uh, study them, make flashcards out of them. Another page that's really important to look at, and I want you to go there with me right now, and that's page 21. And here on page 21 is a chart, and uh, there are conversions. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. One yard is 0 0.91 meters, and a mile is 1.61 kilometers. Now, there are several ways that we can use it. We can go from English to metric or metric to English using that, but we're going to need to memorize those numbers, okay? So we... Um, I would, again, make a flashcard out of it, quiz yourself every day, don't just say, oh, well, I can look back at the chart, because you, we need to have this chart memorized before you can do the checkups, the self-test, the pace test. And uh, I will suggest that you use a calculator, all right? And parents, if you have been hesitant to use a calculator for any reason, this is definitely a pace that, uh, and the next couple as well, that calculators are very, very helpful, all right? Um, 
Go to page 26, and when you get there, I want you <coughs> to put a star <coughs> up here on this page as well. Here's several others. Uh, one ounce, 29.57 milliliters. That's just a fact we have to have memorized, all right? Same with gallons and quarts. And uh, one more chart, and that is on page 31, all right? Go with me to that page, and again, it looks similar. It's a yellow chart. And uh, here are three more conversions, and that uh, explain how to use it. They give some examples. You're going to get some practice using them, but you have to have them memorized. And there's no easy way to show it to you. You just have to make a flashcard, practice it, have somebody quiz you. It's just like when you were in elementary school and you memorized your multiplication facts. Okay. Then uh, jump ahead with me to page 39. And there's a formula there for converting from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And then if you turn the page, um, page 41 going from Fahrenheit to Celsius, page 43 from Kelvin to Celsius, page 44 from Fahrenheit to Kelvin. And all of this is really important because we're gonna build on this when you get into physical science, okay? Um, if you follow the examples in this pace, I don't think you'll have any trouble. Um, I did make a note here that uh, I have a whole video back in pace, oh, I think it was 1070, 1084. Um, there's a whole video about doing the temperature conversions, okay? And uh, you might find that um, helpful if you're stuck on knowing how to do that. But uh, one last thing before I end this video, and that is we're going to get a sneak peek at the self-test. Ready? Open up to page 49. All right, this is not cheating. This is called being prepared. And it's better to know this before you start the pace, okay, than to get to the end and be surprised. So let's take a peek right here at the very beginning of the pace and on page 49, notice that uh, one through 11 is asking questions very similar to what we have here. Some of these terms, you know, how many decimeters are in a meter? That would be 10 of them, okay? and uh, how many kiloliters are in one liter, and that's actually a decimal number, that kind of a thing. So we need to uh, be, be aware that this is what we're gonna be tested on, okay? And then if you look over on page 50, there at the top of the page, how to convert from an ounce to a milliliter. It says multiply by 29.57. And I'm just gonna warn you, okay, you ready? On the pace test, they're going to have different blanks. They may have a blank for the number, okay? Whereas here, they give you the units, um, or they'll have one unit blank and they give you the number. On the pace test, they might have the, the units there and be missing the number. So you need to know all of them. The unit from, to change from one unit to another unit, what do you multiply by, and know those numbers, okay? So here's your fair warning. <clears throat> There's no, no shortcut to this other than making flashcards, making a chart, studying it, review it, memorize it. And as you practice solving the problems, try to recall those by memory, and then if you get stuck, uh, you can look back while you're doing the homework, but certainly by the time you get to the test, the checkups and the tests, uh, try to do it by memory, okay? And I, th I, I don't think you're going to have too much trouble with this. It's very much just following a formula. It's very repetitious. And using a calculator, you know, it should be fairly easy. Um, but if you get stuck, here's what I want you to do. If you find something particular in this pace that you found challenging, you said, man, I really wish there was a video on this. I want you to go to the Pace Success website, all right, and uh, click on uh, sending me a comment and tell me what page number, what pace number, uh, what you were stuck on, and I would be open to making a list and making some more videos, maybe uh, over the summer or next year, and we can keep adding videos to these courses, all right? But you let me know where uh, you wish there was a lesson, and uh, we'll try to help you out with that, all right? I hope you do well on this pace, and I'm going to do a pace now, a video now for pace 1095.